guys, it's half eight. I'm back in, and this is a tag video. I was tagged by the lovely Claire Gray. This is the polishes that are me in a bottle. Uh, this started by Steffi Ray originally. I will leave a link to Steffi down there and also a link to Claire. Um, so I, I had seen this like when Steffi first did it, I saw it and I thought, hmm. I wonder and at that point I didn't really think I had any polishes that were really truly like me in a bottle um, and then I did purchase a new polish and it was very much me in a bottle um, but going through today and like looking at the kind of polishes that I'm drawn to um, and the things that I like wearing um, I realized I probably have a lot more than I realized um, clearly anything that is purple or teal is uh, gonna get a thumbs up from me um, but anyway I will I will get to the polishes that are definitely me so I will start with my absolute favorite purple nail polish that's been a favorite for a really long time um, I'm almost halfway through the bottle <laughs> this is from Maybelline from the mini colorama line this is wonder violet so it's clearly purple, purple, but it has kind of like a shimmer, sheen, bit of a flash going on in there, bit of silver flash going on in there. And that's one of those things that's like, that there's what you see when you first look at it, and then there's what you see afterwards. It's, it's very much me. Not What you see is not necessarily what you're going to get. Uh, the next one in that same purple vein is... Um, from Layla, this is CE64, Ceramic Effect number 64. So this is a purple again, but this one has more of a gold sheen to it and sort of like a pink glittery sort of effect. I love this. It's one of those ones I could just sit there and stare at for hours. Um, yeah, so I guess complex is one of the things I, I, I would say. Is I like polishes that are complex like onions. Um, <laughs> the next one is Cobalt from Crabtree and Evelyn. This is more almost a, this is more like a blurple, very blue based purple. But again it's not just a straight colour, there, there's more going on in there as you can see in the bottle. And then on to uh, more of the tealy type polishes, uh, teal wing, my second favourite colour. Um, so there's this one which not only for its name but for the fact that it's teal and it's got sparkles and everything in it. This is Nail Junkie from Sinful Colours. Uh, clearly it's mainly a topper but it's just, it's so me. It's way too complex, too much going on. Which some people don't like, like I know Claire prefers like a very simple polish that's not quite so complex whereas I tend to go for really complex um, and the other one is Infamous from Ultra 3 which again it, it looks just teal when you first look at it but there's so much more going on and those ones are really on the simple end that, like that for me is a simple polish that's that's when I'm being like straight and to the point type of thing um, and then I was thinking about it, there's, there's sort of another one that kind of comes in that same vein and that is a Sinful Colour Superstar. This is a jelly base with like a tealy blue jelly base but it has um, lots of purple glitter in it and it's also got some silvery blue type glitter in it. Um, as you can see it's settled. <laughs> but again it's like complex there's like lots going on in there so for me if it's purple and teal it's pretty much me um, I a little while back I went and bought two polishes from um, picture polish which I thought would be me but they turned out to not really be me as much as I would have hoped so the first one was paradise which was a collab with liquid jelly which, you know, looks like it should be right. It's um, teal and it's got a flash to it of almost blue. And it's got sort of pinky 
glitters in it. But it just wasn't really everything I'd hoped for. It's also quite sheer. Probably needs another coat. But it just, the green's not kind of right. It's a bit too um, dark and dreary. Um, don't tend to do dreary. <laughs> And the other one was the one called Ultraviolence, which is a purple with um, the same kind of glitters that Paradise has got in it, sort of like the pinky red almost. And it's not really me. There's a bit too much clash going on in there. I don't know. I thought it would be me. It seems like it would be right. Uh, it's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, so really the, I have five polishes here that are really, they really speak to me. They really, I guess they reflect who I am, which is far too complicated and too much stuff going on. Um, the first two are actually quite simple. They're from the same brand. These are both from um, a Garde. Uh, this one here, the blue one, is Magic Nights. And the green one is blue satin. Yeah. Blue satin, it's green. I don't know. Anyway. That one there is Magic Knight. And that one there is blue satin. And they look like beetle wings. I am going to insert a picture of a manicure I did using these two polishes. And like on the first coat, these are like a bit sheer looking. You put the second coat on and they just, oh, they come to life. They really are amazing. They're just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, the one next to that you'll probably recognise if you know anything at all about nail polish. This is OPI's Pineapples Have Peelings too. Apart from the name, I love pineapples, um, it's it's like a hodgepodge of different things that don't look like they should go together, only they actually do. And they're just really interesting and there's so much to look at. Um, and that right there is Pineapples Have Feelings too. That is very much me. It's a little offbeat, a bit different. Um, the next one is uh, the epitome of too much going on here. Um, it's hard to work out where you're going and what you're doing. This is Be Careful What You Witch For from Glam Polish. This is one of my newest polishes. I had to have this. It's a, a light purple base with purple and pink and blue and white and silver and um, holographic, I'm pretty sure, uh, glitters in it. There is literally so much going on in this polish. So that is it right there. It's kind of a bit thick um, to apply, but there's just, it's almost just like somebody threw in everything but the kitchen sink. Um, but I actually really love it. It's, yeah, it really speaks to me. It's not quite dry, I only just did these. These are the ones I don't have on swatch sticks because they're newer. And lastly, the polish that is definitely me in a bottle. This, 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 this is me right here. This is also from Glam Polish. This is the Dance of Dragons. This is from one of their newer collections. And I have been looking for a polish like this for so long. Um, I've seen a few similar ones um, and haven't actually bought them. It was kind of what I was hoping the ones from Picture Polish would be, but they weren't. This is a green to purple shifting polish, duochrome polish, like I really like duochrome polishes, um, with holographic in it, and it is, is everything that I want in a polish. The only thing that would make it better would be if it was um, a really strong linear holographic. I don't mind scattered holographic, but um, that right there is the Dance of Dragons. Uh, you can see that shift in it. 
Um, I will insert a picture of it on my nails. Um, I generally don't wear nail polish for any more than a couple of days at most. I had this on for a week. <laughs> I did not want to take it off because I just, I just love it so much. is just so perfect. Um, if the purple was just a little bit uh, more bright purple, it would be even better, but, but um, yeah, that's that never quite satisfied thing. Um, yeah, but this Dance of Dragons is absolutely me in a bottle. So thank you to Steffi Ray for starting this tag, and thank you to Claire for tagging me in it. If you want to do this tag and you haven't already, then, then, then go ahead. Um, Steffi and Claire will be linked down below. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail polish type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.